And she's really been an artist all her life. If you can believe it, this lady is 80 years old, and she really looks great, doesn't she? But she loves art, maybe that's why she looks so good, because she loves art. But in the, Adele, you have said you've been doing art all your life. Is that, is that really, you've been doing it all your life? Yes, I have. Ever since I was in grade school. Everything since when? Ever since I was in grade school. Everything since you were in grade school? So, but your, your basic medium is what, watercolors? It is now. I started out originally in oil for 35 years. Oh. And then I changed to acrylics and pastels, and then lastly to watercolor. And I've been doing that for the last 20 years. About 20 years? Yes. Oh, that's great, so. But you've always, you've always you've, you've did it more as, as, as an enjoyment, better than trying to make a living off of it, huh? Yes. Oh. It's, uh, you have some uh, really nice pieces of art on the on the table there, and uh, why don't you show us some of those art, hold them up there, so different portraits on the table, and go through each one a little bit, you know. This is a bird that I did from a picture, and this is an agave plant in bloom, and it makes a lovely composition for art. And it's in this art show. That's quite nice. This is a rose from out of my garden. Hold it there for a second. Oh, that's really pretty. It's outside of your garden, actually, huh? Yes, I like to grow roses. They're my favorite flower. So that's another hobby. Yes. And then this is a lady who posed for us at the art gallery. And she put on a costume so she looked like a dancer. Hmm. And she was very beautiful. That's so where that very nice looking lady. This she was picked. done from life. How long ago was that done? Probably about five years about ago. About five years ago? Mm-hmm. And this tiny picture is a geranium that grows in my garden in the white in the hot house. And I had one little tiny bloom in the middle of winter, so I picked it and painted it because I wanted to see something that looked like spring. Yeah. It's very nice. You're really a really good artist. And uh, I want you to talk about some of your other club you belong to. Now, this club here, here at the Mary's Restaurant, the Girona Cafe, and you have all your art here in, in the community center. And what club is that? That's the El Valle Group. The Valle Group? El Valle is in Cottonwood. Huh? Yeah. That's a, that's a pretty active group, a pretty big very group, isn't it? I'm very pleased with them. And they have like 60 or 70 members. Yes, 75 now. 75? Mm -hmm. And they actually are. Uh, having shows of different things going on all the time, aren't they? They sure do. They keep you really busy. They keep you really, really busy. And uh, I understand that you have a, a, a new gallery in, in, in uh, Camp Brady. We'll give her a plug. Now, yes, what's her do. name? Stephanie Peters, and it's the White Hills Gallery. White Hills Gallery. She, I, I've seen an article in the newspaper. She's kind of a young lady. She took yes. on a, a, a big task there for a young uh, entrepreneur, yes, especially is. in the arts, you know. So how is she doing, do you know? She's doing very well. In fact, I just sold a picture last week out of the gallery, and that pleases me a whole lot. And she also organized the Pecan Festival that we just had over there a couple of weekends ago. Oh, she's involved in that so too, So she's huh? involved in a lot of things in the town. Oh, great. What, uh, uh, I, want to get, I want to talk a little bit about your history here in Arizona. I said, you don't get to talk to too many people I have that know that history, but Arizona, when you, when you were in Fraser Trader or in Phoenix, all those towns, Mason, Scottsdale, they were all separated at that yes, time. Yes, they, they were little towns outside little, of Phoenix. Out of Phoenix. Mm -hmm. So you were born in 1931, so you've seen a lot of change going on in Arizona. I surely have. Mm -hmm. It's gone from a little town that was easy to live in to a big <laughs> town that's like L.A. <laughs> like a big congested town. So do, did you have the opportunity to meet Barry Goldwater at all? Or? No, I knew him, but I didn't meet him. Oh, did you? Yes. Really? No, yeah, it's quite a history of Arizona. So, uh, I don't know if your what did your parents do back then? My parents, my dad worked for the Salt River Project. My mother was a homebody who took care of her children and raised them. Oh. So I had both parents all my life. Well, that's so nice. I was very blessed in that respect. Hey, you've been blessed, huh? Yes. So, uh, your parents, that, 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 that's a great story. But, but getting back to your art is, uh, now you've always, you, you said, isn't, isn't a child you started your art career yes. and enjoying art, uh, and, and you had the backing of your parents, I mean. They both were very encouraging. They were very encouraging. So you brought this brochure in right here. Yes. Why don't you hold that up for me, let me focus on that, because that's a nice brochure. And, uh, so you're, you're, so you're, you, you actually made this, you said. Yes. So you're, so you're, you're into the computer area too. 
A little bit. A little bit? <laughs> well, you did a pretty nice job there. Well, thank you. Most of us older people are still kind of apprehensive about the computer, but you know, it's, 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 this day and age is technology, so we have to do it a little bit, don't we? You know? Yes, we do. We need to. So. Do you want me to turn uh, it around? Yeah, turn it around, would you? This was the side. My husband did this side. When he was alive, he was a, a really good computer person. And he made this side for me, so I just keep using it. Okay, that's nice. And uh, do, you have, do you have, do you have, you can put it down now. Do you have like a website or an address or anything you want to give out? People want to get a hold of you or anything? Or? Uh, I have an address, it's an email address, but I don't have a website. My only thing that's on the web is the White Hills Gallery. She has, all of the artists are in the gallery, are on her website at www.whitehills.com. Okay, okay. Isn't this a nice thing that Mary's doing here in the her I cafe? Think she's wonderful. And Showcasing I think she's all this a art. Person. Yeah. Plus talent. Oh yeah, yeah, exactly. You know, and some of the other people you had, you brought to another organization you had mentioned. What's yes. the name of them? The Northern Arizona Watercolor Society, which is in Sedona, and the Arizona Artist Guild, which is in Phoenix, and I'm a jury member at that particular guild. Oh, you are the chairperson now. No, I said I'm a jury. Oh, the jury, or the jury yeah, person. You have to pass certain tests to oh, be a sure. jury member. And I did that. But you chaired, you chaired that committee at one time? No, I no? haven't chaired oh. the committee. I did publicity for them. Oh, did you? Yeah, oh. a long time ago. So you got out of the big city too, huh? Yes. And you found a small town of Camp Verde, and then you found a nice gallery. So, as you said before, you've had a blessed life. Yes, I have. Well, I'm going to let you go now, Adele, and I want to thank you for your time, and have a great show, and uh, Tell the other people about it, okay? I will, and thank you so much, Gloria, for your work. Thank you.